watching a previous live stream from Twitch. I interact with the chat during this video, so while it may seem like I'm crazy, I'm actually not. Don't worry, I'm not insane. Join me occasionally on Twitch and I'll post videos when I go live. Alrighty, that looks like that's going. Let's see what we get. Oh, look at that German Empire. Look at that German Empire. We online? Well, we, we're running an ad. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty, everyone. This is Leaf on the Wind, and I am bringing you my German Empire here. It is a pretty super, super Germany right now, uh, but I want to eat up all of Hungary. And, you know, most of the Ottoman Empire. And part of Russia. And possibly part of France. And either Puppet Warpole, or... No, this is Flanders. Never mind. Uh, Puppet Flanders or conquer them outright. Actually, that's a good question. If I justified on them... Well, I can either conquest or make a puppet. That's that's the two options. Okay. Netherlands, I also want to do something with. We'll see what happens. Kind of thing. Maybe moving to Scandinavia. But I did realize how bad a situation I am currently in um, with this. I didn't realize it. Like, I, I was poking around here today earlier how bad a situation I'm in here. I'm in a pretty bad situation. As uh, Germany, I'm only third military ranked wise. And Russia is number two, and France is number four, with obviously the UK being number one. Most of theirs is still soldiers, though, if you look at that. And France is, eh, it's about half soldiers. Russia should be almost all soldiers, it is. So basically, I'm going up against some major soldiering there. Oh, good morning, Kibob. Kibarb. Uh, there's no R in there, whatever. K... <laughs> Keep Abe Ward. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Good evening to me. Whatever. <laughs> I know it, you said it was 4.30 in the morning there, man. You're you're nuts. I just have to say you're nuts. But that's okay. Whatever makes you happy. So, um, wh where was I? Oh, yeah. We're in a pretty bad situation, honestly, <clears throat> with what we're looking at here. So, what we're going to do is re assess what we're doing. Well, first off, the focus is we have to move these around. Uh, how are we doing on intellectuals here? Very fine indeed. Alright, so you're going to work on clerks. <coughs> you're already working on clerks, apparently. And you're being removed, and you're being removed. And clerks. And clerks. Oh, wait. That's German Rhineland. Didn't I just do that? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the p max population areas going. Uh, Research-wise, we're going to work on the all the industrial stuff. Then we're probably going to actually work on the commerce. Get that done. We need the money badly. Pretty badly. Um, there. And we're going to start wrapping up, uh, war revving up for war with everyone. Kind of thing. And in order to do that, first thing we're doing... We are doing freaking forts and railroads everywhere. If it has, if it does not have a railroad, it is going to have a railroad. <clears throat> and a fort. Don't forget the forts. Lots and lots of forts. We're going to spend all this money on stuff. Okay. Forts for every man, woman, and child in Germany. That's what's going to happen here. Everyone gets a fort. Then we're going to have to work on armies. Get those all set. We want... I'm going to want 48 stacks running around. Okay, this is the, this is the adult version of Saturday morning cartoons. Watching watching a lonely single father play Victoria Two and try to be Germany taking over the world. <laughs> That's okay. I like that. I like that. Hey, welcome welcome to adult uh, Saturday morning cartoons where <laughs> where the Germans rule. 
Also, I'm really annoyed that Luxembourg did not join me in Germany. They should have joined me in Germany. I'm going to have to go through and actually conquer them now. Wait, why do you have zero level fort? Oh my god, I'm out of money. That is something that happened. All right. We got forts building all along Germany now. <clears throat> Let's go make sure that... Uh, Panama, yep, they're building. Cuba's building them. And our holdings in China. Oh, actually, that's a good point. It's time to beat up China. Come on. We're going to go get some money out of them. <laughs> Conquer that little shithole of Luxembourg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're on my they're on my list to conquer, and you are correct. Normally, if you're low on soldiers, you encourage soldiers. That's not my primary problem, though. Right now, I want the I want the industrial base to support the amount of soldiers I'm going to do beforehand, and the research is actually number one of my concern. So I want to get clerks up to at least two percent, even though it says the optimal is four in the research hub here in order to do this. So that's that's kind of what we're going to be working on here. And let's see here. <clears throat> so I need a... Okay, so what we're going to do is take you. That's all you need there. Everyone else, I think, is fine. So you go into Berlin... Name's been discredited in Denmark. Oh no. And also when it, when you really get right down to it, this is Germany. We're not gonna run out of soldiers. Um I need an artillery and herseder. So we're gonna do two herseders, one, two, three artillery, engineer, and two guards, and that'll make that a full army. I'm going to try and get all my armies up to 48 stacks here. <clears throat> Where do you think fertilizer comes from, stupids? Jeez. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. Like, if you're a small country, they're the ones who uh, need to worry about that. If you're not a small country, um, you're generally just fine. If you're a large company, it would be the equivalent... Oh, good God. Oh, we're an industrialized society. Okay, yeah. The Austrian Empire for court? Oh. But there is no Austrian Empire. Alright, well, I'm assuming that's... If it's an Austrian core, is what it means. That, that would make sense. Yeah, large countries, you generally don't have to encourage any kind of military. Small ones, you do. Like, if I was playing as any other country that was... Why is this... Oh, I'm buying... Never mind. I know exactly what's happening here. War reps! Let's go. I have the machine gun. You're going to suck on it. I want you to shove everything you have at me. Oh, don't 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 run away! Don't run away! It's really gonna be what you guys are doing. All right, they're gonna try and sneak by me. Yeah, they're going to sneak right by me here. Wait, where where are you going? Uh, Ilnitz.
bonus on employment and yeah we're gonna promise reforms oh what is this Ooh, Russian Empire calls for conference oh yeah I'm not getting the infamy for the freaking Ottoman screw that Suck on it. Look at that attack rate. Oh my god, yes. Military tactics plus 25%. Wait a minute, what? Okay. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I see what that is. Oh, I was an ally with the US for some reason. I am now. Are you at a 48 stack? You are. You at a proper 48 stack. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shove you. Yeah, we better do the Russian side. They're the ones I'm more worried about. And we're going to get our armies ready. These are for the Cuba, um, the, the Kaiser's vacation home and our China holdings. Upgrading them to 48 stacks. <clears throat> Let's see here. How did that do? Yeah, that pushed me way up there. Not accept. Okay. What can I add that would really do something? I could add extra war reps to it. Must pay 20% of their income for 5 years. 1.2. But that's already what this is doing, right? Yeah, it kind of is. I don't think we're going to need that much. <laughs> Just ding it, ding on the China. Oh, why do the Ottomans want? What are you doing, Ottomans? What is this? Free the Balkans. Oh, uh, okay. Go nuts. You go beat up the Ottoman Empire. That'll be a good time. <clears throat> and pretty PK. <laughs> I like the idea of that. Yeah, we gotta go protect the Kaiser's home. Oh, one thing I did notice that was weird here. The Egypt got the Suez back. That's a little strange, to say the least. Like, I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Ooh, more prestige. Oh, light music. Okay, whatever. Soil enrichment, Russian Empire. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a lot of Chinese. Alright, um... Gotta get out of there. I killed 40,000, though, to them. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, can I have you retreat, like, all the way back over to Germany? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, I think I got stacked wiped. Yeah, I got stacked wiped. Alright, um... Shoot. Well, if we're gonna be like this... Get on that industrialization. Alright, well, now I have to build an entire new army. Alright, well, that, that just went poorly. <clears throat> yeah, they be dead. Well, that happens apparently when there's 200,000 uh, 200, Chinese men come running at you. Is that, I still have 11% war score, though. What if I, can I force that? Nope, rejected. Alright, that's fine. We'll make this work. <clears throat> Dance my little Hungarian's dance. Okay. <laughs> Pianist, one of the leading musicians of the Romantic period. Born in Hamburg, Prague. Uh, I don't know, whatever. His professional life began in Austria, where he's a leader of musical scene in his life. Popular. Um, where the freak... I, I don't know where this dance my little Hungarian dance has come from, but... I, like, all right. Zerg rush, yeah, the Chinese, the Chin, the Chin Empire just Zerg rushed me. <laughs> Did you, I should mention, Zerg rush is literally something that's put in the military, uh, in the, uh, military books now. It's literally called a Zerg rush in the, in the books. Which I find is absolutely hilarious. All right, we'll wait. Oh, good God. We got a lot of closed factories here. Really? Let's let's open these again. Let's see what happens here. We'll let them, we'll let them fail again on their own. 
Uh, what do we want? Okay. United Kingdom calls for conference. Wait, I thought the Russians called for conference. Well, whatever. Capital discuss the ability of the Ottomans to maintain the stability of the Balkans. Some feel should keep the Ottoman Empire strong. The interest of uh, prevailing Russians from expelling, expanding into the Middle East. This could potentially improve our relations with the Ottomans as well. Others believe the stability of the Balkans should be a priority, even though it might come at the expense of Ottomans and our relationship with them. I really don't care about the Ottomans. I do care about conquering that territory. And kind of thinking about it, what might be better for us... Because we're going to get, we can get a decision to form Yugoslavia and have have a puppet over here we can control if we don't want to conquer down in there. Uh, pretty much it means the same thing. Uh, th basically, a quick rush of weak units as quickly as possible to overwhelm well the en enemy. And it's like, it, it was added, it was added well after, you know, StarCraft came out, but it basically means the same thing. Uh, before it was just um, it was wave rush, I believe, or attack waves. I can't remember um, that it was defined under, and then they literally just simplified it and called it. It's the Zerg rush. Everyone knows it as the Zerg rush now. Kind of stability in the Balkans, excellent. All right, so here's what we got now. All right, so now we're in a actual thing we got to work on. Now we're in a Diplo thing. Need Serbia, Albania, less to a point Greece, Montenegro we need. We're going to try and form some Yugoslavia down here now. That's what's going to happen. <clears throat> I'm sure we're going to need some stuff here, but, you know, we'll work on that. Oh, God. Absolutely I want control of them. Hungry? How long? Okay, we got we got years to go here. Yeah, look at the Balkans fall apart. I'm going to try and get Yugoslavia, though, in there. Absolutely we want that. Uh, where the freak are you, Greece? There we are. Yep, Serbia. Ooh, yeah, dig deep and greedily, please. Wait, you're at war with Bosnia already? What is wrong with you, Serbia? What is wrong with the Balkans? Rodely Kin, or Kiln. Alright, let's... Oh, we're not done here. No, we are to... Oh, no, they, that's right. They only need one Hursader. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And I need one more Engineer. Get up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Two... Two, two. All right, so that's going to be... Oh, wait, whoops. I already had... I already had those built. Yeah, Croatia CB. Yeah, I either... Well, that's the thing. I either have to control that area, or I have to just straight up take it from them. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create Yugoslavia, though. And uh, for some reason, Serbia is moving up this way. Whatever. I don't care. Um, what I'm probably going to do is do a release of people. Release Croatia. Keep in my sphere. Form Yugoslavia after. Um, and just make a puppet. And I'll, at the same time, I'll be taking chunks out of Hungary. Where's their... There's their... Okay. What region is that in? Okay, so I got a few regions I could take out of them before I have to worry about anything. Alright, give me this. There we go. So I just realized I'm building guards when I already have guards. 
Uh, we make no distinctions because we love all of our people. I wonder if Serbia is going to try and take all of, uh, all of, uh, Bosnia here. Is that actually what they're going for? Nope, that's Greece. Yep, on annex them. That's what they're trying to do. Serbia is going to take the entire thing. Oh my god, that's fantastic. <clears throat> that will that will actually legitimately be one of the first times I see them do that, though, properly. Where they, uh... Yeah, go ahead and drop those guys off there. Where they end up taking the whole thing without too much... Like, Serbia basically becomes Yugoslavia. Factory cost. All right. Steam turbines. They're the Polish. We have nothing to fear. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I want to take that. I, I do want to take that, but that would open a secondary border with Russia, so I want to be more militarily strong before I do that. Data the cause of independence has become circulating among the Polish minority in thrones. So, Milinci, okay, they're the Polish. We have nothing to fear. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the Poles. Oh yeah, US. Why why are you keep breaking this? What's your problem here? And why do you have Texas nationals rising up in in there? What the freak? <laughs> United States has Texas nationals popping up. That's hilarious. Don't mess with Texas. Yep, there's your army. You're now the guard of uh, Kaiser's Cuba. Sure, Romania? What's going on here? Oh, you're probably... Yeah, you are. Yep, they're taking chunks out of Hungary now. Oh, that only helps me. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, give me the research points. Alright, can I end this, please? Not accept. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to send an army over there. Send a 48 stack this time, a proper one. Electronic rolling techniques. All right, and with that, eight. All right, so we need really. All right, never mind. Okay, so that should leave me one more. Oh, they're Northern Italian. Oh, okay, I got a culture thing going on there. We might have to do some systematic extermination. Well, yeah, they do exist, but only in the crazy corners of the world. Never, I don't think there's ever been before a, a Texas revolution inside the United States. Oh, I got things with Flanders. All right. Albania is under the Italians. Why am I going for... I don't remember why I'm doing this. Uh, an artistic genius. Get on the boats. Here's a question. Do I still have military access? You will accept. Excellent. I would like to go drop you in Hong Kong. Oh, freak sakes. Give me the Navy. There. Go have a great time in Hong Kong. Oh! Japan took ta uh, Taiwan. Alright, good for you, Japan. Oh, was there? Hang on, let me take a look at the decisions. Uh, Albania, I need to... 
I need you to love me some more. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I can burn the Summer Palace. Yay. Um... Oh, I need Revolution and Counter-Revolution, which I kind of thought I already had. Mysterious Lands of Guatemala, right there. Oh, okay, well, I'll get Yugoslavia first, and plus the U.S. is my ally, so we're going to hold off on anything involving that for the moment. Hey, we got the Kiel Canal, excellent. Excellent. Hello, Keel Canal. Tar tariff officially 5%. Nice. That was Montenegro. Yes, it was. Give me freaking Montenegro. Oh, jeez. Look at the freaking Balkans. It's a nightmare. And also, something going on. Paraguay... Cho okay, apparently Paraguay has something of theirs. Russia is fighting Japan. Oh, thank you. Farming output, excellent. Excellent! Give me that unequal treaty. Alright, trade policy first. Excellent. That's 5% research. This gives me... Okay, so this switches over to Precious Metal. Have found Ferris Basin near Metz. Ex expanding west in the line of Thor's Met Nancy, ranging about 100 km ah, kilometers from north to south between Belogue and Luxembourg border with an extension of 2030 east-west. At the same time, the soil testing seems to indicate the presence of rich veins of silver galley places known as Silver Valley. Well, okay, I guess. Nice. All right, Shanghai, which one? One of these had precious metals, I think. Okay, you did, Shanghai, that's who it was. You had cotton, you had that. And you had fruit. Okay, so it was Shanghai, I need Shanghai. Boom. Thank you, Shanghai. Give me all your precious, precious gold. And you go ahead and actually land there this time. And expand your fort. Good job, everyone. Add them to my sphere. Oh, I have no research. Let's get revolution and counter-revolution, because that's on the list. Yeah, no, yeah, stability in the Balkans, a.k.a. constant war everywhere. Oh, yeah, and Serbia is now eating a chunk of, of Hungary. Yep. Serbia is taking its cores. Uh, Russian Empire, oh, they're taking it. Oh, yeah, that's going to be, that's a CB. That is a CB. Hungary is just going to fall apart here. They're going to be ripe for the picking. Uh, sure, Bosnia, just don't get me into any wars, because if you put me in a war, I'm going to end you. What is this? Currently attempting to modernize its military with the establishment of a modern ocean liner battle fleet has placed in order for several warships. Oh, yeah, we gr yeah we graciously accept that. You, you can definitely have our old, outdated, uh... Old, outdated, um, battleships. That's for sure. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, Hungary, Hungary better pay their debts. Um, can I justify a war? I cannot. You still have a treaty. 78. Alright, it's going to take a while. I'm willing to bet Romania is going to grow quite large here. Does France hate me? Yeah, France hates me. I need that France-Russian alliance to die, is what I need. So I can focus on other things. And I want to know, Zuberg, what the heck is this and where are you? 
you basically just have prestige. I don't understand where you are, though. Wait, are you a little tiny dot here? Nope. I'm wondering what you are. Oh, God, did you do something? What is this? Second... Uh, screw it. I'm not dealing with you. You're too much trouble. I'll, I'll just attack Serbia outright, even though I see they got their chunk of uh, Austria back. I'm going to make a very good... I think I'm going to make a good size Yugoslavia if this all goes right. I am going to... Split you... Let's go ahead. Okay, we got 248s there. Let's go ahead and shove these guys over towards France because they're probably going to be the next problem. <laughs> yeah, the Automod got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Automod got that for obvious reasons there, dude. <laughs> Sure, give them money. I don't care. Let's go. Let's go take care of Bosnia. Uh, steamers. All right. Kolstrung's fourth army. Excellent. And you guys can come together. Excellent. Armies are becoming armies. That's for sure. Ooh, yeah. That's a decent chunk of money from them. I could also release them as the Republic of China. That would be funny. God, I love this so much. I love this island. The 2.2 million people living on that island really helped this out. 